Alright, what's going on UBA? Yeah, this is Sean I face and representing Team Beloved. And we are here at Brawl number 42 here at Bowl 360 Ozone Park, formerly known as Cozy Lanes, here in Ozone Park, Queens, New York. And we got a situation here. The situation currently is this. We have a tie. 1,610, yes, 1610 apiece for Lights Out and Royal Flush. Both doing very well in their own divisions. So if the papers are right and statistics are right, between these two powerhouses, we don't know what's going to happen. So if you're a betting person, choose your bets wisely because I'm, I'm going 50-50 on this one. And if that's the case, we're going to be here all night, rocking to the morning light. But right now, like I said, 42, where are you? UBA all day. Let's get it. You like for me on camera, you like that. Bring your box. everybody this is Sean Dye facing again here representing team beloved myself UBA all day and we are here at brawl number 42 here at bowl 360 ozone park formerly known as cozy lanes uh, it was an eventful brawl uh, we had six guaranteed sign-ins we had seven walk-ins uh, equivalent to 13 teams so very good turnout here at Bowl 360 Ozone Park. Shout out to the teams that were here. Dark Legends, Team Beloved, Bowling Bully, Silent Killers, Lane Crashers, Suicide Squad, you know, and Project Mayhem. A great shout out to those who came out, they performed. Those who didn't make it, you know, more than likely you'll be at Battle Bowl having a good time, making money at the same time. But at this time and at this place here on May 7th, 2023, we had a situation. We had a tie and a roll off for qualifying for the finals between Lights Out and Royal Flush. Lights Out and Royal Flush, both powerhouses in their division. Royal Flush right now holding first in their division of Long Island and in Brooklyn and Queens. Lights Out, second place in their division looking to be playoff bound. What you're looking at is the, um, the end of practice. We have in the finals, we have BC Crew, and we have Lights Out. Um, speaking of Lights Out, I wanna give their flowers now while we are here on commentary. Uh, shout out to Mr. Christopher Williams of Lights Out, who holds the, not A, the house record at AMF East Meadow for shooting 898, 299, 300, and 299. An amazing showing now sits amongst the immortals to hit such a high series. Shout out to all the other teams as well, bowling in the divisions, whether you're fighting from the bottom or trying to hold the top, keep it going. Shout out to the new teams who have joined the UBA. And speaking of Battle Bowl, for those looking to go to Battle Bowl, these teams right here, um, even if they don't do anything here, uh, will be at Battle Bowl. BC crew, um, not doing too well in their division, to say the least, but this could be their key to the city, and the city being Newcastle, the state being Delaware. We have CEO Ty and L. Tate himself, Right now, you see him in the view of the people watching right now. Shout out to the viewers who may be watching this at this current time. And on the, le on the left screen, you see former Cruiserweight champion Jamal Shaw of Lights Out. So we have, we got, we got some resumes on the lanes and on both screens. Shout out to all those taking the time 
off of watching NBA and or NHL playoffs to view this because we have our own big match field here. BC Crew, legendary team in the NBA. Strike from Lights Out. Curtis Warren right there on the lane 35, starting off right for Lights Out. And and we got and we got a little recovery. We, 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 we got out and seven rather than seven out. So BC hoping to bounce back from that first ball debacle. And let's see what Miss Cumberbatch does. Nikki Cumberbatch, all right. Well, still betters the person she's across from. So nine's better than seven. Mr. CEO right there converting his spin on, lane, on frame one, lane 36. Over here on lane 38. Oh, 38. Shot looks great. And he starts off with one. One down, maybe 11 to go, we'll see. Up on lane 35, lights out. Lights out, takes the pins out, and we got a beautiful strike to start off. We got Mr. Shaw, former Cruiserweight champion, and right there, oh yeah, setting the pace from the middle position. And right now, we have Mr. Jamal Braden. Some, uh, some of you may know him as Silk. Little banter going on, and Boogie Hollis. Boogie Hollis right there, taking it out. Good strike to start in the first frame on lane 36. Silk, not so smooth the first shot, but nine is still fine, especially if he converts that spare because it's still 10 in the end. Over here, Mr. Showtime. Showtime Williams. And I guess Showtime is now. It's Showtime equals go time for Christopher Williams as he starts off with one down, maybe 11 to go in lane 35, frame one. And we have Mr. Explosion. Explosion taking a little easy pass on the Jersey side of things, and he still closes the first frame with a strike. Once again, shout out to all the teams. Shout out to Bowl 360 Ozone Park here hosting Brawl number 42 here. And Another legendary bowler in his own right. Mr. Dwight Flowers, you may know him as Nut. Nut Flowers to start off with a nine count. But nine again, like I said before, is still fine. Nine spare, and you still may be there. For all those looking to participate in brawls, please don't forget to visit the UBA website. Sign up for your brawls and go for it all. You get a shot at Battle Bowl, shot to um, grandstand for 10 grand. Again, you can check everything out on those UBA websites. One of those, especially being ubatv.com. That is where you can click on events and then sign up for the events in advance. So let's see if BC can bounce back from their first frame, Lights Out as well. As you see, Lights Out started, has a seven count, and he's a little wide on the outside, and I believe that is what we call a Pat Halise. Shout out, Pat. <laughs> 2 8, 10 for those who don't know what a Pat Hollis is. And Mr. CEO right now running things on the lanes and off the lanes. Any questions that you may have about UBA, you can also um, email Tyne L. Tate. Very attentive when it comes to all matters on the business end. And he's trying to handle business. And oh, wait a minute. Lights out, lights out. Tripping out with a pressing down on a D-pad and a strong kick leg sweep to take the seven pin out. Nikki Cumberbatch on lane 38 converts her spare, so she closes her second frame. And let's see what BC does. This could be a big conversion. I don't think he's going to make it. But you know what? He got two out of the three that was left. Boogie Hollis 
Goes up and ripping the rack one more time. So right now he's got a double, and it could spell double trouble depending on the response of Lights Out. Up on lane 36, we got Lights Out. Lights Out trying to make sure that they still have a little light. And you know what? That's all right. No split, no trouble. Leaves the four pin. And we got a nine. So instead of a four nine being left on one lane, we got a four and one nine on the other. Oh, wheeling and dealing. And somehow he hits everything except the head by missing the head. Bowling is bowling. Well, let's see if Uncle right now can sun this head pin. Spare converted on lane 36 for lights out. These are the top two teams here at Bowl 360, Ozone Park, formerly known as Cozy Lanes, brawl number 42. This is brawl number 42, where are you? And I was gonna say, where is he for that head pin conversion, but he does convert the head pin. Don't know really if that, can, if that, if that constitutes getting powdered or not, being that it's in the middle of the lane. But we don't have to wonder about that because he made it. <laughs> Showtime, lining up, taking his time, seeing, seeing potentially a future strike. It rolls and gets to the lane, and you know what? He predicts a beautiful future for his ball as he rolls it for his second strike in lane two for lights out. We have Mr. Explosion, Triple X. If you don't know, he's gonna show you. That's not two X's, I was gonna say three X's, he would have bowled his name. But a 10 pin left, came in a little light. We have Silk Braden. And Silk smoothly gets away with a pocket hit. Little light, but the pin still continue to fight. BC Crew again. They, got, they have lineage here in the UBA. Legendary shooter, Dwight Nut Flowers, um, catches a little oil, leaves the one, two, four. He leaves the head pin. He loves the two pin and he leaves the, f the four pin. Explosion, explosion converts his 10 pin over there on lane 38. For those who are um, uncertain of how everything goes, as Nut converts his spare, the brawls are as follows. You have one scratch pair with three scratch bowlers. You have a handicap pair with three handicap bowlers. You bowl, you make it over half of the field, and then you go into the next round. Then, then you bowl that second round, you make it, and then after that, you are matching up head up. A little wide for, for Mr. Clutch. Does not make contact with the pocket. Seven count after a strike. Doesn't lose anything. Over there on lane 38, we have a six pin. We have a six pin leave on 38, 10 pin on 37. We have a three pin leave by Mr. Quarter, by Mr. Curtis Warren on lane 35. Miss Cumberbatch shoots a 10 pin and it does not make contact. So right now we have an op another, a second open frame for Miss Cumberbatch. Tynell with the spare, converts it. Spare conversion on lane 38. So BC, right now they have a vision of closing frames. Let's see if the visions come to fruition. So over here on lane 35, Curtis Warren with the spare conversion. He has a potential 279 max. Over here on lane 38, we see crew. I'm looking at his jersey, at his jersey and I'm seeing uncle. Uncle is not saying uncle. He's gonna still throw his ball. Oh, but Boogie says he wanted to keep the he wants to keep the thing rolling over here at brawl number 42 at bowl 360. And Jamal Shaw sees it right there. Right now, he just Shaw shanked. He just Shaw shanked the third frame. 
trying to get some redemption with that Shawshank. Spare conversion on lane 38 for BC Crew. Oh, way to carry a little high on the head. That was, a little, that was Wiz Khalifa high with a little snoop. But we still got a strike over there in the third frame for lights out. Super high, high grade. <laughs> All right, nut. Nut makes a slight adjustment and two spare strike to a potential 277 max for him. So maybe a little fast with his feet. Right now he leaves the two and the eight. So he got the two and he got the best friend behind it, the eight. Always got his back. Showtime is up. Oh. And I believe there was an attempted dart that did not work because Showtime is above it. <laughs> Explosion right now. Tick, tick. And boom, right there in the third frame for Explosive, Explosive, Explosive. Holy shit. Soak with a spare conversion converts to 2 8. So right now, Soak remains clean. He is the F bowler. E bowler remains clean. Two open frames, 4 D. And that may have been the shot that CEO Tynell Tate, Mr. Clutch, was looking for. I believe he sees something. He looks like he feels, feels good about it. Then again, you know. You're never gonna see him sweat either either way. Curtis Warren responds with a strike. Again, remaining on that 279 pace is Curtis Warren. Nick, Nicky Cumberbatch. Oh my goodness. Nicky Cumberbatch going deep in there for a beautiful strike. And with the exception of two open frames being the first and the third, second and fourth are closed. Very good, and the pins right there are, are in his favor for a strike in the fourth frame, BC Crew, lane 37. Shout out to all teams, whether you be in the north and the south or watching this right now, you could be anywhere in the world, but you are here with us here, again at Bowl 360 Ozone Park, located in Ozone Park, Queens for brawl number 42. And let's see what he's gonna do. And beautiful, he stayed down on that right there, almost looking like a logo. Right now, over here on lane 35 and 36, lights out, remaining clean. Boogie with his first hiccup. And we may need to fix that count. Um, that is an eight count, not a seven count, so we are going to correct that. Right now, showtime again. Master taking his time, seeing his shot before he takes his first step. And look at the roll. Let's see if it reacts. And Showtime living up to his name right now. The lights are on bright, and he's here to fight. Right now, still potential 300 max for Christopher Showtime Williams. Boogie Hollis looking to convert his spare. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the pins were knocked out of whack and he chopped that. And Uncle also flags his split. So was a 300 max potential for Boogie Hollis, but he's been bowling a long time. He'll bounce back from that little hiccup, take a little something for it and get your system right. All teams fighting for a chance to battle for 10 grand at Battle Bowl. Explosion. And right now, Explosion, he got, he got all the right chemicals to make the right bomb right now. And Explosion converts his fourth frame. Still for a 280 max. Nut Flower right there. Nut, Mr. Nut Flowers, lane 35, still staying alive. 277 max for him. Silk rolling up. 
and he's rolling loud with another strike. That is the second of the game right there. Second frame strike, first frame spare, third frame spare, fourth frame strike, 260 max for Silk Braden. How are you liking the match here? For those who don't know, I'm standing here with legendary Hall of Famer right here. That's Hermie Hannibal. Um, I still got the footprints on my ass to prove how good she is. How are you doing? Pretty good. I wish I was in this match. I'm loving it. You know, I've watched you many times shoot many places. <laughs> if you're not in this match, you will be in another match. Oh, we got an easy pass over here. BC Crew going across the bridge. Jersey strike right there. But either way, X is still X. How'd you find the shot today, Herman? Oh, really very tricky. It was like over and under. It was terrible. It was terrible. You know, I kind of saw the same things. I find myself having to go to a little snappy pearl. Um, so that way I can get a trustworthy look and a little snap in the back. Oh, speaking of snap back. <laughs> say, say that one more time. It depends on the lane. You're right, it does depend on the lane. Yes, the high side indeed was, they were carrying a lot, and the reaction was different. Uh, over here on the low side, caught a little over under, caught a little bit of a hang spot. But you know, every house got its own dynamics, you know? All right, thank you for your time. Oh, wait a minute, and lights out, said turn out the lights. Oh, and the fight pin, oh sorry, the 10 pin gives a little, gives a little fight back. So lights out, get, they're, they're getting a little rhythm here, and they're getting a little rhythm in a little bit of time because there is no game two. This is a one and done situation. And Nut flowers up. And Nut says, do you remember who I am? Did you not forget? Y'all must have forgot in my Roy Jones voice. And so making an adjustment, and he cannot get the corners out. Maybe, maybe trying to, to chase it a little bit. Jamal Shaw of Lights Out going up on lane 37. Will he convert his 10 pin? And yes, he gives no daylight as he represents Lights Out. 4 7. And so converts that. Walks it out. Regaining his composure. Shout out to the cameraman here, Anthony over here. Always getting things right. We got showtime again. Like I said, master of taking his time, seeing the shot. And he rolls it, it reacts, and it talks back, but the seven pin don't want to listen. So, great shot, seven pin. Um, not necessarily cooperating with Showtime, but Showtime is still go time. 79 max, 279 to be exact. And Explosion still said, I got the bomb, so let's get it on for a potential 280 max. Right now, Explosion himself, representing lights out here at Bowl 360 Ozone Park. First frame strike, second frame spare. Three in a row. <laughs> hey, Miss Parker, how you going? <laughs> all I can say is UBA all day. Shout out to BC and Suicide Squad for keeping the culture going. <laughs> <laughs> and up on lane 36. Oh, oh, interesting lead for lights out. I believe that is the 2710. And we're going to take advantage of this now. And he does not. A little iPhone 4 FaceTime in my fabulous voice with the 3610 leave. 
I still like his chances better, but then again, both spirits are convertible. Probability not as high, but both convertible nonetheless. BC. And the seven pin again keeps ringing like somebody trying to avoid a bill collector. And we got a spare conversion for Mr. Tynell Tate as I find, I find a way to make um, Ms. Janaya Parker giggle just a little bit. <laughs> he made his spare. He converted it. And let's see if Curtis Warren, oh, Warren tried to send a warning shot with that spare conversion, but he did not. Not to necessarily say that the lights are out. Hmm. Uh. So right now, Pyro himself, Jamal Shaw, goes up, rolls his exotic gem, and oh, and strong kick down, leg sweep, Mortal Kombat style, takes out the 10 pin for a conversion right there. So, so Jamal going diet Dutch. <laughs> He's going diet Dutch, not a full Dutch. Oh, and we got the two, four, eight, ten. Best way to make that, honestly, is to almost miss it. See if we can sweep it over. He could either be a hero, go for the spear, or go for the wood. It's a little tight. His decision is his decision. But the lefty on lane 36 decides to uh, make him think about it just a little bit. Ooh, slide back up, and again, Pairing, playing hero ball is not always the best thing to do. Sometime, sometimes heroics are not, are not the best option when it comes to high probability. And we got a little high drama here as Lights Out might be in the driver's seat. But let's see if um, the traffic cops are BC and they decide to give them a little speed and ticket. Explosion a little high and tight. And right there, that is a lot of eight. No split, no trouble. Loses a little count, but not a lot of count. Showtime. Mr. Christopher Williams himself, lights out. Record holder for East Meadow, AMF East Meadow. Goes up. Rolls the ball, and it hooks in. And wow, before it was the seven, and now it is the distance, long distance cousin, the 10 pin now, standing up saying, hey, let's have a conversation real quick. And Silk found a way to carry something, whether he liked it or not. Never, nevertheless, nevertheless, 10 is 10. And we got nut right now. Trying to give a nut allergy to lights out. And yes, very good. He said, he said all kinds. He said peanuts, tree nuts. He's going nuts. And ooh, almost a chop situation for explosion. But right now, he might have to reconfigure his recipe for whatever explosives he plans to unleash on BC crew. Christopher Showtime Williams staring down his target. Hopefully he acquires the target and he makes contact. And I believe contact is made. 10 pin is converted. So potential 258 max for Mr. Showtime Williams. I got Mr. T-Rex Troy Riley right here. UBA OG, yo. How you doing over here, over in what was feeling like, at least for one day, throwback of the old cozy, for one day. Honest, like Cozy's always been my house. I'm always hitting this house. But today I just couldn't get it until later on in the evening. I'm like, yo, man, what's going on with this shot? But I figured it out. I remember now it's aggressive. So I shot aggressive and I shot a good 266 and I'm happy. I feel that. It was almost acting like that girl that you know you mess with, but she get a new hairdo and she wanna act different. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. T Rex. All right, and Curtis Warren right now letting him know that that one open does not slow me down. He's trying to turn the lights out. He's trying to blow out the candle. BC still fighting back. Say that? Who is, who is commentating this event? Because did he just say what I thought he said? Yes, yes, yes. He's trying to blow, blow, blow out the candle. You know, whatever lights, whatever year. Well, 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 speaking of lights, there was no daylight on that shot. And came out extremely high, came up very high, and we have the 467 leave on lane 36 by Tynell, and whoo, Jamal sparked up a little bit, got a little high on that shot, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't laced, so he carried it. So <laughs> Unfortunately, Tynell's shot was laced, 
and ooh, losing wood. Sometimes you need to. BC going up. And we got a little bit of mix. If you're a DJ, you can appreciate a good mix at any time. And he's, and he's doing something strange for a little piece of change over here with Miss Janaya Parker. So Silk earned a strike, and now he's trying, to, he's trying to make himself have a good night. He's a working man indeed. <laughs> and ex Oh, Explosion says, I'm going to fight for this, two, this 268 potential. My correct correction on that, 258 potential. Oh man, and the 10 pin stands up and, and it fights. Stands up for its rights over there on lane 38. Showtime mixes it up. Channels is in a Funk Master Flex. Channels is in a DJ for a little bit of mix. Showtime remaining consistent. Speaking of consistent, Nikki Cumberbatch, lane 38, lights out, converts her 10 pin. And BC on lane 37. And wow, seven pin just keeps ringing. Ringing, ringing off the hook. We got nut. Yo, yo, let's just go. <laughs> Dwight Flowers goes up. He likes to release. He stands up one time. And the 10 pin stands up as well. So right now, the corner pins are fighting back. The corner pins are practicing. Yeah, that's the. the the, the, the corner pins here obviously have some kind of civil rights movement because they out here standing up for all kind of rights and lefts. <laughs> oh, oh, don't forget the four pins. The four pins are the allies. And a backup ball thrown on lane 36. Fighting for their rights out here. Get up. They got Bob Marley in them. A little bit of whalers, too. Hey, we <laughs> oh, wow. And four... On 37 and 38 for all my golf for all my golf heads out there. No four counts, just four pins. Time now with the ball with the release. He keeps getting a little wide. I feel like he's catching a lot of a hang spot that may be there. If you've noticed from watching the shots for all my bowling purists out there, when you have when you are touching the outsides early, you're getting an early read. But once you get a little inside of that, you're getting a little hang. A lot of over under here. It's getting a little warm outside. Combine that with the air conditioner here. Mixes up the reaction. Curtis with a safe shot. Um, right up the boards. Hangs a little bit. Leaves the 10 pin. That is a good, honest nine pin. A nine count, rather. Converting the four pin on each lane, 37 and 38. Ty now looking for a big spare conversion shot. Shot beautifully. Pins did not communicate well with each other, and they did not. I repeat, did not fall. Uh, we still have an interesting match. No one can really blink. Explosion. Explosion. Still living up to his name. He said, "This is not a dud. This is the real thing. This is the real thing." And X X Explosion still. Unloading on the lanes. Oh, and lights out, giving a little daylight. Okay. So next to me on my right here at Bowl 360 Ozone Park in Ozone Park, Queens, brawl number 42. We have Madam CEO, the the the, the driving force behind the CEO. You know, behind every good man is a good woman. So right now, I know you're sitting here supporting your man, Tyna. What do you think's happening on the lanes right now? Um, since they're back to the fresh, they gotta make the adjustment back to bowling on the fresh. So it's a, it's a little tough. And if it's bowling all day, so you gotta keep the speed up, keep the fingers on the ball. I mean, they're not out of it. The limit, so. Down, not out. Cameron voice, right? 
<laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Very good. As I give Boogie Hollis back his chair. <laughs> oh, oh, and right now, the one question that I know that BC must be asking is how's the left? Because right now, 280 pace, B bowler right now of lights out on lane 36 with another strike, another uh, with 280 max. But legendary Nut Flowers said, yo, I'm going nut. He said, doesn't matter what kind you call me. Walnut, pecan, tree nut. There you go. What's going on? I know you're bowling right now. I know you like to focus. Can you give us a little insight about the shot right now and what you're seeing out there on the lane? They're wide open. They are wide open. Spoken by a true legend over here. Nut flowers going nut. Doesn't matter if it's walnut, tree nut. <laughs> Square nut. Butter nut. Very good. Showtime up. Whoa. Unfortunate. Oh. Sorry. You suck. No, hot Well, that was unexpected. I'm looking. I, I'm looking at a potential spear conversion. Well, BC doesn't jump on that. So but pretty much Chris Williams leaves the door open with a plate on the table, and he says, you know what, I'll get it later, because he did not eat at that moment. He did not eat. <laughs> yeah, well, well. Oh, and, and I guess you could say it's nine spare. We'll take nine spare there. That, that The nine looks a little different, but it's still nine. Yo, 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 Terrence, that nine may look a little different, but it's still nine spare. <laughs> nah. I mean, you know, he was still married to the lanes. He just got hyphenated. That's all. <laughs> all right, so we're going to bounce back. Jamal Shaw, Jamal Shaw of Lights Out, lane 37. Still, still all here fighting. Anime fan may have his samurai sword out one time. And well, Tynell, um, seven count. Oh, a little wide, and the two eight. The two eight not looking too great for BC right now. And Curtis Warren saying this is a warning. Yeah, a warning for from Curtis Warren. And he's warning anybody who's watching this that lights out is still showing up at Battle Bowl without a doubt. And they may have two tickets. And I'm not talking about round trip. As I said before, they currently hold second place in the Brooklyn Queens division. They are looking right now to take this brawl and win it all. Yo, bro. Uh-uh. Right, it's you. Nah, I gotta get you, cause you was looking stressed early. Uh uh. Stressed about what? Nah, listen. Stressed about what? Uh huh. My team was stressed. We were stressed. My team was stressed. But I feel like with the, with the way our team was constructed, we did what we were supposed to do. We got all over here, and our team really shouldn't have made it out of those rounds. So to give a little context, this brother, tell me your name again. Mason of Lights Out. He, he had a slight look of concern on his face. And then the tie happened, and then it showed up when the lights, when the lights were on. Ironically, lights out showed up when the lights were on. And uh, right now, he went, you know, you know when they said in training day, this is a game of smiles and cries? Because before, you went from Kleenex to no stress. That's all I'm just saying. <laughs> and Boogie going up on lane 36. And Boogie trying to, right now, he boogieing. He boogieing one time. Hopefully he's gonna boogie for a victory and hopefully it's not boogers from tears. And we're going right here on, right here, <laughs> the, the brawl here, brawl number 42. Bowl 360 Ozone Park here in Ozone Park, Queens, New York. Lights out still looking good, but anything can happen. Showtime bouncing back and minimizes his target. 
right now, and and, and, <laughs> and it looks way better than his first ball in the eighth frame, to say the least. Still looking at 248 max for Mr. Showtime. Chris Williams and BC claps it out one time. They're saying, you know what? If you're going to earn it, fight me like a man. And or a woman. All inclusive. <laughs> Nut, Nut said, I'm still Hall of Fame. Still Hall of Fame in this game. All right, and Jamal Shaw. Second generation. Second generation Shaw out here. Still carrying, but also throwing it all. Jamal Shaw, again, Shaw shanking on lane 38. And that is a good way to start your 10th frame off. Let's see what the finish is. Potential 228 finish for Jamal Shaw on lane 28, representing the Lights Out team from Brooklyn and Queens, holding second place in their division. BC, not necessarily in the playoffs, somewhere around the bottom, but not gonna disrespect their name, BC. They got a resume. And BC, they're gonna go out with a fight. They're fighting, they're fighting off their back, but they're gonna throw a couple kicks in the kneecaps before they go down, if they're going down. Let's see what the numbers say. Numbers don't lie. Curtis Warren hooks and gets a lot of nine. He gets out of a potential 2-8-10 Pat Holly situation. Leaves the eight pin. And in that case, in that situation, the eight was great. Also want to take the time to thank Mailman himself for holding things down. Occasionally putting a foot in your ass if we need to, but does it with a smile because he likes that kind of stuff. Uh, Mark Avina left already. <laughs> Shit, it's over. You're welcome, China. You're welcome. Always appreciate you, mailman. And, 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 Tyne, and Mr. Tynell. Tyne, Tynell trying to end on a high note. Looking to work hard for his potential 191. Curtis right now looking. Curtis Warren, rather, on lane 36. Looking at a potential 192 finish. Considering he converts his next ball for a strike. Jamal Shaw, lane 38. And ooh, and he kicks out that 10 right there. And we got a big smile from the former yeah. Cruiserweight champion on, representing baby. Lights Out. Lights Out right now looking at two two tickets in Battle Bowl. One for it all. Oh, oh, I was gonna say two, four, five, but just 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 a two-four. Just a two-four. Tynell doubles in the tenth. Shout out to everybody watching, all UBA bowlers. And even if you are not a UBA bowler and, and you are finding about this word of mouth and enjoying, come see what it's all about. Get a team in, join a team. You know, doesn't matter what region you're in. Bowling is still a great thing to do when you either have nothing to do or want something to do. And that was something to do right there. Good strike to finish out his game, 192 for Curtis Warren. Our uncle not saying uncle, still converts to spare. But it may be a little too late. And Jamal closing out for 228. 228 for him on lane 38. All right, and Tynell, well, I believe he's finished for the day. Great, great bowl in his own right, just wasn't his day. All right, uncle finishing out strong. 189 finish, 189 finish for Tynell, 192 finish for the A bowler Curtis Warren on 35 and 36, moving over to 37 and 38. D bowler, 205, 237 width. Oh, 280 max has just turned to 258 max. Again, great score. Boogie looking to still fight. Amazing shot. Amazing shot. Did not carry. Explosion over here. X, X, explosion on lane 38 for Lights Out. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of trash, no, I'm sorry. 
That was a good. That was a good shot. If you didn't need it, it was a bad shot. If you needed it, and I'm assuming that he didn't need it. <laughs> Split for Silk Braden. If converting this can go out for 203, probability is not exactly high, but anything could happen. And I don't think he's really trying to go for it. And right now, that is a 191 finish for Silk Braden of BC Crew on lane 37. Explosion said he is still going to close the door on the situation with a little Teddy Pendergrass in his voice. Close the door. <laughs> huh? Uh, yep. Yeah, you, you know that song about Teddy P? Close the door. <laughs> Lights out was not what you was looking for. <laughs> there you go. 258 over here for the B bowler of Lights Out. Lights out! <laughs> Guard your grill. The 10 pin stood still. And the 7 as well. <laughs> and this is for 258. 258 for Explosion. And Lights Out is all smiles. BC not necessarily smiling today. But again, BC has a lot of lineage here in the UBA. They made it to this point. They're not leaving here empty handed. And the seven pin says, before you before you you know, before you leave, let me just let me tell you something real quick. Nevertheless, Lights Out came here, showed up, showed out. And the final result is lights out. Lights out right now. And more than a driving seat. Lights out looking to, poten to potentially park the car. They're going to park the car, but Nut says, you know what? I'm going to bowl until they say don't bowl no more. So he's going to keep rolling shots. Chris Williams converting his seven pin on lane 36. Those who were looking to sign up for Battle Bowl, if I did not mention before, and if I did not, please forgive me, August 9th through August 13th, happening in the state of Delaware. Participating houses such as Bowlerama in Newcastle, Delaware, as well as Bowlero Wilmington. Events for the whole weekend. Make the trip, have fun. Get with your crew, do what you do. Battle Bowl, August 9th through August 13th. Many events, sports shot events, unholy, eight man capped, eight man uncapped, so on and so forth. 225 for Chris Williams, for Chris Showtime Williams. Legendary Nut Flowers, rolling the ball. Trying to see what he what he could have did differently. Honestly, he didn't have to do anything differently. He rolled the ball very well, as he usually does. Has for many years and will continue to do so. Hey, Miss Parker, you know I keep coming to you because you always you always look and smell good. And shit. <laughs> I said every time I try to leave, something keeps coming. Uh, but um, representing Suicide Squad, Jamea, how would you like the shot, just more or less? The shot was beautiful. It was fine. Thank you. And, and um, congratulations to you, because I believe um, Mr. Silk had to had to um, contribute to the White Castle Fund. Yeah, exactly. I appreciate the juju I put on Silk. Exactly. I, I, heard, I heard you out here putting jujus on, right? I heard when he was up on the line, you know, like Sugar Hill. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Congratulations again to Lights Out, who turned the lights out. And we are going to get some words with, with one of the members of Lights Out. Congratulations. 
gonna get we're gonna, we're gonna get a little interview time. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Oh, we're about to be. You, you come on too. Talk to you in All right, what's going on, UBA, all day? This is Sean Dye facing over here at Brawl Number 42 at Bowl 360, Ozone Park, formerly known as Cozy Lanes here in Ozone Park, Queens, New York, where Lights Out has acquired the target, and they turned the lights out here at Bowl 360, Ozone Park. They won Brawl Number 42, and I'm standing here with Curtis Warren. How you feeling after your win? I am so happy. Unbelievable. We've been battling BC for so many years that we could never get by them. And to have an opportunity to do that, and the handicap team picked us up, and I did the best I could, and, and I am so happy for the win. You don't know how happy it is. It's been a long time since I won anything, and finally. So we got off the hump, and I look forward to Battle Bowl, you know, and hopefully we can continue over there. I'm glad we made it. And this has been a great day for our team. This is what we needed. So and that's it. Anything else? And you, and you know what? And you mentioned Battle Bowl. Mm -hmm. So looking at the standings in the Brooklyn Queens division, mm -hmm. currently, you, if I'm correct, second place in your division, yes? Yes, yes, we are. We, we started out very bad. It was looking very, very bad. Our team is going through a whole lot of transition. We lost a couple of bowlers. We had to regroup. Our president became a father for the first time. Our other number one guy became a father. So we had to do a whole lot of replacing. And it looks like we're having a strong finish. And hopefully we can get to the playoffs and get there for Battle Bowl again. So that's our mission. So, so, so metaphorically speaking, y'all got Y'all got your ticket, and you got and you got a little group on as well with with, with the brawl. So you, right now you could be punching two tickets at Battle Bowl, located you know in Delaware. Yeah, you know, and, and you could take everything because you're in the playoffs. You're in the playoffs, and you're in the brawl. So right now you you might be able to. I don't know if anyone in the history has won a brawl as well as Battle Bowl. So like all in all, y'all could be, add more to y'all legacy. Boy, that would be great. You just put lights out on the map. That's all we want. That's all we want. Put us on the map. So this way, when we walk in, that's lights out. That is lights out. You know, and you know, again, two a story pass. Two teams, BC lights out. Their name rings bells throughout the UBA, not just the Northeast. They've been here for a while, and they still and they still running wild just a little bit. You know, they still got a lot of fight. And you know what? It was great to watch y'all do your thing here at Bowl 360. Always a pleasure seeing you. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching you roll the ball for years. And, you know, uh, best of luck to you and your team. And keep marching on. You know, turn the lights out a little bit. Make make, make, make Con Edison call the other teams and tell them to pay their bill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, bro. Hopefully see you at Battle Bowl. One job. Yeah, say one job. Everybody say one job. One, two, three, lights out. One job. All right. Now you can do one, Camille. You can do the other side. 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 Too. Look at the I said, we're going to be here all day because we're going to win. That's exactly what I said. I am a witness. Yeah, exactly what I said. And I agreed with him. I've been saying all season. What did I tell you? On that paper. I need to get to the winner's circle. What did I say in that paper? On the line. I said, this is your year. Oh, yeah. She just said it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I kept telling them. Bro, it's not this time. Bro, I'm just the one for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> Token white guy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Somebody got to do it. Bro, you was the premium guest. We went crazy. He was at 98. He said, how much you need? I got it. Yo, I'm going to definitely say, um, Going pair to pair, I think we all hit a pair where it was a little troublesome. Um, and the rest of the team was able to pick us up in those key moments. Um, the importance of getting to this final match for us on behalf of Curtis, who's been 
you know, a Lights Out member and founder from the very beginning, it was big to win against BC Crew for him because they've always been Lights Out's kryptonite. Mm -hmm. So for us to come out and get this accomplishment, I think that it was everything. Like, for me, personally, I've been saying I don't want to cash anymore. I need to get to the winner's circle. And to do it with this group that I had with us today, you know, it, 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 it was historical as far as I'm concerned. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a blessed a blessed day, so you know I let the other guys chime in. Uh, uh, speaking of being blessed, uh, quick shout out, giving you your flowers again. Great accomplishment, 898 East Meadow record holder. Good, good to see, good to see a brother doing that. You know, uh, yes, Chris Meadow. So shout out to you giving your flowers here. You know, so shout out to you definitely. You know, we got former cruiserweight champion here, uh, Jamal Shaw over here, Shaw shanking the lanes real quick and getting a little redemption at that too. Um, so. Um, what do you want to say today, Mr. Shaw? So, like, I did what I had to do. I had to be consistent. I had maybe one low game. It was probably, like, two teams. You didn't want to be here today. I, actually, yeah. I, originally, I, I wasn't planning to bowl. <laughs> and I was partying last night, too. So I had, like, four or five hours of sleep. But I'm glad I came. We, we got the dub. Very good. P proud of us. Uh, let me forget my, my, my guy over here. Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to officially meet you. Sean Day, tell, 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 tell the world your name real quick. Rob Grexer. All right, so Rob, right here. Oh, Rob, so, 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 oh, so, so you was living up to your name because you was robbing them of their hopes and dreams out here, you know, with that 258, really big game. I just was able to con uh, contribute for a change. I've mm -hmm. been grinding it out all day, and these guys have been carrying me. Mm -hmm. And I was able to come through when we needed it. What else can I say? I mean, I mean, you was doing your squats there because, you know, you, you threw the team on your back. Everybody threw each other on each other's back. At you one know? point today, Shots somebody was there to pick us all up, and uh -huh. that's what a team is all about. Well, exactly. It's all about teamwork made the dream work. And and last but not least, let me get X, X, Explosion over here. Yes. I see this guy every freaking let's, week. Let's talk about uh, oh, 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 we got we got. <laughs> because he uses a foreign substance that he took in his elbow before league and before. If you can smell it in the camera, this shit is illegal. It's, it's for old fit. It's BC for, it's for old.